city of Sandy has recognized uh, broadband telecommunications as being essential infrastructure. Having uh, fiber to the home uh, in the city of Sandy offering gigabit services will enable them to attract uh, new businesses to the area, retain businesses in the area, and uh, as well as attract uh, uh, new residents. And of course fiber is a preferred transmission medium because the, the capacity is virtually unlimited. So having this uh, fiber infrastructure in Sandy uh, I think will be proved to be very valuable uh, in the years to come as the, the internet as a platform grows and develops and as bandwidth requirements increase uh, Sandy will be, uh, be able to adapt to it. You know, their, their network will be very scalable in the services uh, that it's able to provide in the future. We weren't seeing the kind of uh, connectivity any of the private markets were providing for our residents. And with the future, speed and capacity of internet connection was uh, identified early on as a principal thing that we should provide. And we felt that we could provide it much as any other utility uh, because we weren't doing it at a profit. We'd be able to provide that for our citizens. The city of Sandy's residents and the businesses have had huge amount of support um, in our um, fiber to the home network. Um, several of our businesses have been on the fiber for many years and have enjoyed this unlimited amount of bandwidth that they've gotten, this gig network. The fiber to the home network was kind of an outgrowth of um, uh, SandyNet, our uh, uh, city-owned uh, internet service provider, and SandyNet came to be as a result of a lack of media services up here on the mountain um, 10 or 15 years ago. We had a large amount of difficulty trying to get some of the local service providers to provide um, uh, high-speed internet out here. Um, and so rather than try and figure out something with them, we decided to go our own route and start our own internet service provider out here um, and provide that service to our citizens ourselves. Um, the Fiber of the Home Network actually um, was the result of us uh, kind of coming to the technological end of what we could do with our wireless service. So fiber was kind of the next step. And uh, we thought from a policy standpoint that um, fiber being kind of a 21st century technology, we would like to kind of leapfrog where we were and kind of uh, get up to the, uh, the forefront of uh, internet technology um, while, while we had the capacity to do so. Aside from the fact that our fiber, our, our slowest fiber connection to a residence is going to be about 20 times faster than the wireless service we currently provide, or DSL or cable, um, there, there's the, the, that benefit, uh, the fact that people will get uh, better TV service, better internet service, um, uh, with fewer interruptions. Sandy residents with fiber will have the option to do video conferencing um, from their home and um, telecommuting from their home, which um, uh, up until now have been kind of difficult to do with um, a standard, um, what's considered high-speed internet. We're hoping to see um, what we've seen in other communities that have gone to Fiber the Home Networks, which is um, an increase in, in home business entrepreneurialism. There are some similar initiatives going on around Oregon, nothing quite like what we're doing. I don't know of any situations where the, com the entire community has been blanketed by fiber. So usually it's only in, in selected areas. So I think that's one of the things where this project is very unique in that we're offering this service to anybody within city limits. I've been consistently surprised at how positive the reaction has been considering the cost of this project. Um, our community from the feedback that we've gotten so far, and I've been working on with this program since the very beginning when, it was, when we were first thinking about it in a conceptual form, the feedback has been almost unanimously positive. Optical innovation is really at the core of what OFS uh, does. So we approach uh, our customers with the idea that we're going to listen to their requirements and their evolving new requirements and then adapt optical technology to help them do what they need to do. Fiber to the home is just another part of the overall revolution in communications in the world. And the driving force behind a lot of the deployment of optical fiber in the world 
is the evolution of the use of the internet to exchange lots of video between people. As fiber to the home has become more uh, required for communities looking to the future, we were able to come to the city of Sandy, listen to what the town representatives wanted to deliver to their citizens and come up with a design that met their requirements. So we've used our knowledge of optical fiber networks to help the city of Sandy uh, design a good network. OFS is extremely proud to have been part of the building of this network. Working with uh, the team at the city of Sandy to develop a cost-effective, quick-to-deploy network that offers a lot of value to the citizens of the community has been uh, very important to OFS. And we look forward to the full deployment of the network here and uh, the successful operation of it for many years to come.